over again. Start the show now. Ta da! Live with elements. Again, Saint with another initiation coming in. Hotshot under the turret going very low. Saint could find himself another kill, and he does not stop there. All right, that's some 10 out of 10 quality editing right there, if I've ever seen it in my life. Like you just that that's the best editing ever. Yeah. All right. Let me pull up my chat so I can like uh, pop out. Yeah. So I can answer questions and everything. Ooh. All right. Should all be good now. Get some music playing too. Everybody likes music. Who doesn't like music? All right. That's a little too loud. Okay. So, this is going to be my episode of Jungology, sponsored by Full Sail University. And, uh, I'm going to do Lee Sin this, this week. Me, Jungle. I carry you guys. No problem, okay? Yeah, I'm going to do Lee Sin this week. So, I'm going to go over my Lee Sin runes. There's two different rune sets I use, but I'm going to go with the primary one I use. Uh, my first rune set is, uh, I run eight AD, uh, flat AD runes on my reds, and then one crit chance uh, rune on the red. Then I run flat armor yellows, like all flat armor yellows on my, uh, all nine of them. And then I run uh, nine MR per level blues, and I run 80 quints. So that's how you end up with 14 attack damage and then the 1% chance to crit. So. Yep. Do, do, do. Oh yeah, my masteries. I, uh, I run 2 in Fury, 2 in Butcher, 4 in Deadliness, uh, 1 in Expertise. So I run 9 21 0, and I run the standard defense where it's 4 in Durability, 2 in Tough Skin, 1 in Bladed Armor. One in Veteran Scars, one in Hardiness, one in Summoner's Resolve, two in Unyielding, one in Block, three in Tenacious, two in Juggernaut, one in Reinforced Armor, one in Defender, and then one in Honor Guard. So nine twenty one zero. Yeah, if they take Lee Sin, I'm gonna be so I'll like rage quit this game. You watch, I'll rage quit this game so fast. Why do I run the one crit chance? Because I have a 1% chance of cheesing the hell out of you when I gank you. Like, if I have a 1% chance to almost instantly kill you when I gank you, I'll take it. Just for one rune, I have a 1% chance to instantly kill you. Like, that that's awesome in my book. Your will, my hand. I got the Lee Sin, and of course I'm using the Bruce Lee skin, because Bruce Lee was a beast. Oh, I'm actually gonna make a note of that, because like, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm like the best Lee Sin mechanically, and I'm, I'm definitely not the worst either, but like, you can play Lee Sin even if your mechanics aren't even that good, because you can just basically brute force your way through things, because Lee Sin doesn't have to be a carry. You can play him as a utility, supporty type champion. Mainly because his W and his E are so good and his ultimate are so good when used situationally in team fights. Like, in a team fight, if you can queue a, queue a tank and then just kick him out, or, kick him away from your carry or use your E to peel for your carry, then it doesn't really matter if you hit the Q. And then, a lot of times when you're doing ganks, you can just W into creeps or wards and land the E, which gives you a very easy chance of hitting the Q. And I'm going to show that this game. Alright. Yep, this is my John Galli show, sponsored by Full Sail University, and this one is going to be on Lee Sin. So let's do it.
and I'm duoed with Jackie, who is actually playing Tarek support. So, Tarek Graves versus Vayne, Nami. Uh, I definitely give that to Tarek, Tarek Graves. Like, if they play the lane properly, they can just brute force and kill that Vayne repeatedly. And then Orianna versus Pantheon. Orianna is actually a very good matchup against Pantheon. Actually, no, that could be Pantheon top. But Orianna is good against both Annie and Pantheon. And then Jax is probably not the best pick versus Annie, but he could definitely win. And then Pantheon versus Jax is still like a favorable matchup to Jax, just because you could you have your E, which is really good uh, for if you get all in by Pantheon. So I think overall we have a better team comp because we have a better late game team comp as well. <sighs> Alright. Low time, man. Uh, actually, I don't like playing Lee Sin as a counter jungler ever since the nerfs. Like, sometimes you can counter jungle effectively, but uh, Lee Sin's not as actually the most powerful jungler until he hits level 3. Um, you actually need some levels to, to do to do some stuff at least in, and I'd rather exert that pressure on the lanes. All right, I'm gonna start machete five pots. Jackie, let's go kill. Yeah, I'm not even on team speed. Connected. Channel switch. Alright. User was moved out of your channel. Wait, where's Jackie at? Jackie, you're not even on TeamSpeak either. <laughs> Alright, whatever. I'll just like ping stuff to coordinate it. Alright, so we have Tarek and Jax and Lee Sin, all very good level 1 champions. Uh, we If we get a good Tarek stun, we can definitely pick somebody off and kill them. We got the wards. Uh, I feel like they invaded us. Alright, Jackie's like going really hard on this. Am I overlay? Is it not on or something? Fix. Oh, they over. What is it? Not sized properly? Uh, damn. Alright, I'm just gonna like take the overlay off because it's not. Oh god, we're fighting. Alright, I managed to get the kill there. Oh god, they're fighting. Um. We should really be focusing on the same targets here. Oh, he flashed it. We can definitely box this guy off and kill him. Uh, I managed to get the first blood kill. Uh, which will be very handy. Oh my gosh, he got away. Alright, whatever. I didn't have my Q up. Yeah, we could've like... Uh, Alright, I turned the overlay off. I'd've been a little bit of better level 1 if like I was actually paying attention. But, uh, yeah. Jax, please! Whatever. I'm just gonna smite it. Actually, I don't need to smite it. Uh, cause I'm gonna go back anyways. Cause, just because I have my, um... I have my claw now, so I'm gonna get the claw. I like Madrids on Lee Sin, mainly because I like to build Sidestone on him. So I'm gonna get my Madrids and my, uh... A Sight Ward, so that'll help my team out. And I can also make some nice little plays with it. And I'm gonna go down and get blue. I know the bottom doesn't have any summoners, so I'm gonna take advantage of that. All I have to do is set it up with Jackie to where he stuns somebody, like the Nami. And I can definitely I can guarantee a kill, so I'm gonna try to make a play off that. That was actually a really easy blue buff. Uh, bottom lane is not pushing out yet. Uh, actually, no, I'm gonna go down there. Yeah, it, I'm like looking out the way it's pushing. It's warded. Alright. Akram's bottom, but. Like, I'm moving in. Nope, can't do it. They're actually playing very far back, so. Uh, I'm fine with that. And Hecarim's in the area. They're playing very scared because of uh, 
So it's because they know they don't have summoners. Like, there's he warded right here, and he warded right here, so... I'm just actually gonna go power farm. Hecarim's going bottom. I don't really want to fight that. I mean, I could win the fight just because I have the first blood money, but... Uh, I just gonna choose not to fight it. They need to back off. So I'm just gonna focus on getting some levels. I want to get boots so I can do some lane ganks. Top is a very easy kill, I feel like. But I also know that they warded my red side jungle. So there's probably a ward in this area. So they know I'm top. Um, so I'm gonna like... Basically I'm walking by a ward when I walk by this. Because I know that they went into our red side jungle to start with. And uh, and I know that uh, they, he knows I'm top right now, so... Yeah, that's why he's backing up right now. Like, Pantheon just backed up top. And that's because I walked by red. Oh no, he's still here. Come on, dude. Oh, he didn't blow his flash. Maybe I can hit a kick? No, I can't do it. Damn. I could've synced that. He, he really should've stunned earlier, and I also didn't think he saw his flash. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pressure... Uh, I'm gonna pressure up his turret. Um, I could probably, yeah, we can zone him off a lot of XP here. Oh my god, we're missing all the CS here. Yeah, this whole wave, uh, the, uh, damn, we missed all that. This whole wave he's gonna miss. Uh. Oh, damn, mid just, yeah. Oriana versus, uh, Oriana versus Annie is a pretty good matchup. Oh, he's over here. He has a red buff, though. I don't think I can scrap it out with him. Actually, never mind. I'm much stronger. Pandian's coming down here. Oh, no, no, Pandian's not coming down here. Alright, I took his wolf. He's actually behind me on XP. I'm level 5. I'm surprised he didn't try to scrap me at the red buff a little harder, but I guess he would have lost just because I have my Madrids and all he's sitting on is a Spirit Stone. Spirit Stone's like a garbage item for trading because I have an extra 25 armor from the Madrids. Alright, I know Annie doesn't have her. She probably doesn't have Flash up. I might be able to make a play on her. She does have her Sun up though. He's walking his Rush to Ward. I'm just gonna walk up an E. So I made sure that I could. The main reason why I did that is normally on Lee Sin, it's. Uh, one of the mistakes a lot of Lee Sins make is that they will try to throw a max range Q and they're putting all their ganking potential on a chance. Because it's actually very easy to dodge a max range Lee Sin Q. Um, so it's better just to guarantee the Q by Wing into my uh, support. Or my carry, or anybody. Oh god, they're fighting bottom. And then guaranteeing that I can hit the Q. Uh. Man, what is he doing? He's like just walking back and forth. I'm going. He doesn't have ult. Oh, he missed this thing. So I made sure I get the W off to save my Orianna. And there's also too many creeps in the way, so I made sure that I could just hit my E. Guarantee the kill. Oh god. Let me W, let me W! Oh god. Alright, we should not have backed there. That was actually really, really dumb of us. What the heck is this guy doing? I don't want to Q on him. I could probably kill him there. Actually, I could have definitely killed him there. But I would have kill traded. And I don't really feel like kill trading. They're trying to bait me, because their AD carry and support are actually coming back right here. I'm gonna go get my boots and my sidestone. You get sidestone on Lee Sin just because he has he's extremely mobile. And uh, ward hopping allows him just to get around the map a lot better. Just because his W is so abusive. And I'm also gonna get a pink ward. And a health potion, because now I can solo I can solo dragon at any point I want. Hotkey my thing. Yeah, I could actually play that a little better. Maybe I could have, de I could have definitely 100% killed Annie. It's just I didn't want to risk dying for it. 
Uh, I probably should have since he just killed two people and his uh, bounty was a little higher. What is this guy pinging for? I don't get it. Like, everybody's pinging. I'm just gonna try to get some levels here. Uh, the main reason I max Q is just because the uh, big creeps have a lot of health. And um, Q just helps you kill the creeps a lot better in Season 3 Jungle. Oh, they're fighting it out. Oh god. Oh god, I need to go help him. He needs ulti himself, like right now. Ulti yourself. Fuck! I didn't get the Q. I thought that the ultimate alone would kill him. I misplayed that a little bit. No, I misplayed that so bad. I should have uh, Q'd him first before ulting. I thought just the, Q the ultimate damage would kill him. I misplayed that really badly. That was pretty bad on my part. Uh, I'm gonna go finish my second part of my side stone. Ugh, that was so bad. She literally went down to like... It's the main reason why she didn't die there is because Annie had her Eon, which gives her a ton of armor and magic to this, so... Just big misplay by me. Oh, he's... Stun him! Damn, dude. Uh, Jackie, live! Oh. He's dead, he's dead. That's fine. That's fine. I'll take that. Alright, I can go hold bottom and get a ton of XP. Jax needs to be controlling a little bit better, but he just got the kill, so that's fine. We need to go for Dragon right here. We can definitely get it. Uh, okay. We can get Dragon right here for sure, thinking it. You have no vision. What the heck? So I wanted to pull dragon out there, but it like... I don't know what the hell that was. It like just stood there. Yeah, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> yeah, usually you need a little bit of damage to help you do dragon. Just because I didn't build for damage. But I think we'll be okay. Pull it back. Pull it. I am way too low for this. They actually, they came. They know. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down to fight. Stun him. Stun him. Uh, Annie might do a combo on us here, so I'm gonna hesitant. I'm really scared of that Annie. Alright, I killed him. I'll take that. Uh, I'm gonna get Merc Treads, just because a lot of the CC is really hurting me. Uh, our team's cleaning this up, like, really well, though. I managed to, we managed to disengage the Hecarim Ultimate when he rushed in, and I kind of suicided to kill him. But to be honest, like, I think that's worth any day. Alright. Alright, I need to get blue to uh, my Orianna. <clears throat> For some reason their Nami's like randomly pushing up. Did Orianna get blue there? Okay. I guess I'll give him blue once uh, he comes back to lane. So I'm gonna time Dragon 1810. It's uh, Dragon's every 6 minutes, so it's always good to have, have like note of like when it comes up. I'll start, I'll do raves to, to wolves to blue, because I want to be able to hand off, um, I want to be able to hand it off, before, like, when he comes. Alright. Flash down on the fish, okay. Ooh, Graves is battling it out. That's really weird. Oh, he has red buff. They both have red buff. Maybe Jackie can save him if he gets the heal. They could actually kill him, but I don't think they should risk it. Like, that's such a risky play they're doing. It, oh, he got him. Alright, nice. I'm gonna just, yeah, he's out of mana, so I can't really put pressure. But I will board for them, just because I have the side stone. One of the benefits of having the side stone is, like, I can just... Lee Sin's a very safe jungler uh, when it comes to just, like, doing deep wards. Because they can be like, oh, ward hop over if they, if they come uh, try to kill me. And I get really good deep wards out. 
All right, so I'm moving down here with Oriana. There is a Pantheon down here, so I'm not sure. This is very dangerous. It will be a 3v3. I mean, 4v3, but... Oh god, Pantheon's coming. Uh, I don't think we can kill him. Okay. Alright, we should be able to do this. I uh, like, oh god, he needs to get out this way, and he's coming, he's back out, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Oriana basically messed up there because he used his ultimate before I queued in, so he like, he didn't ulti anybody, so, I don't know, it's kind of like, really weird, he still has ultimate, I'm not sure I want to fight this. He's getting chunked out very hard though. <sighs> yeah, I probably shouldn't have kicked Pantheon into graves, but, I don't know. Uh, I think Hecarim still has ult, so I think I'm gonna hold off on getting that kicking in like that. Graves is gonna get a lot of farm off top, so. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, Jax is gonna get mid. Uh, one little trick with uh, Lee Sin is his W gives him spell vamp, so Smite is considered a spell, so if you have any kind of spell vamp, it heals you for that. Portion, uh, so like you'll get healed for what, like whatever percentage, like 10% right now of 700. So it's 70 healing. User left your channel. I'm just gonna build myself full tank this game because we have really good carries right now. Graves is getting fed, Jax is getting fed, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll give him red. He can have red. Um, and all I have to do is provide coverage for my team. Like, I'm gonna probably get Iron Slurry this game. And, uh, just try to defend my carries. And not kick people into them like I did last time. Uh, I really need Merc Treads here, though. So, I'm gonna wait on this. Alright. I'm gonna get another pink ward for Dragon so we can set up for it. Uh, Andy's going bottom. They're all about to die bottom. Oh my god. You need to get out of there! Get out of there! Get get out of there! Uh, it's just... He might be okay if he has dash up. No, that brush is warded. He is dead. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's overstayed a little bit for the, uh, tr try and finish that tower. I don't think he needed to do that. Alright, I'm gonna go get wards out. Um, those wards actually really helped if they, if they actually responded them properly. So, I'm gonna get the wards. Annie doesn't have ultimate, she's heading mid. So, I'm just gonna make sure we have good ward coverage. Ward there. There's an Annie here. She's running around. She has no ultimate, so I'm not too concerned with her. Get my 50 gold. Annie's Tibbers gets 50 gold, so it's actually, like, really good to kill it. So, I have my pink ward. Uh, Dragon should be up in about a minute. I timed it, so I just go up here. 18 tenths, yeah, it's up in a minute. gonna get some XP. I'm a little bit behind. Randomly, like, everybody came down here, though. So, I don't know. Like, I don't know what everybody's doing down here. And Bane's free farming top. Uh, we should be holding mid. I'm really not sure why everybody's over here. We have really good ward coverage, though. Might be able to make a play on mid. Yeah, we can definitely make a play. Alright, he turned around. Uh, this is a dangerous area to come through. Actually, oh. We don't have Jax. I'm trying to come. Oh me. What the heck? That all did nothing. Yeah, Skype back. Damn, Jackie, what are you doing? What are you doing, Jackie? I'm really... I don't know why that Oriole didn't do anything there. Yeah, it, like, the ultimate went right on top of us. We should have been able to... We actually can turn this if Jax gets here. No. Like, I don't know how everybody, like... Yeah, caught. Like, that's really bad. Dragon is actually up right now, and uh, I don't have ultimate, but uh, I'm actually gonna take this blow just for levels. I'm 
I'm actually a little behind on gold. Um, and actually, I'm not too bad off, but I could definitely be doing better. We have everybody up. We can definitely, because they have two people backing. I don't want to show myself yet. Take not until Hecarim backs. Pull it back. All right, yeah, they're just giving this up. This is free dragon. Yeah. Leeson's actually very good for smiting dragons and things like that, mainly because he has his execute move on his Q, which does a ton of damage. Um, but that's free dragon. Like, I'll take that. This is mainly the other team playing badly, so I'm gonna time that. 24, 50, 60. Uh, I'm gonna try to finish my Iron Slurry. Their only real magic damage on their team is Annie. Like, Hector does a little bit of magic damage, but I'm not really concerned about him. And Jackie said he would get the ball work, so I'm just gonna try to finish my Iron Slurry. I have it done now. That shield will be really nice. And then maybe I'll get a Randowins after. I think I'm gonna get Iron Slurry, Randowins, and then I'll start building damage. Because right now I'm more of a utility person. I have Iron Slurry for the shield, uh, and I have uh, Ruby Sight Stone. I need to get some levels though. Their jungler is level 10, I'm level 10. We're both very low level. Like, this is a weird game. Uh, like, I think Jackie is. Yeah, Jackie is the same level as me. There, yeah, there's been a lot of fighting going on. Jackie, what are you? Uh, I don't know why Jackie's pushing top. Alright, I'm gonna come around here. Dude, uh, they really should not be fighting down there. That is so dangerous. They're about to like, yeah. I'm trying to get wards out and everything. Yeah, they're about to fight like a terrible fight. We can, we can definitely shove top down. So uh, everybody's running around bottom. I'm actually gonna go take their blue. Uh, yeah, we have decent. No, no, get back, get back, dude. Vayne's right here. Why are you trying to fight? Like Jackie's so dumb here. All right, all right. So I'm gonna war jump to get away. Um, yeah, I'm really not sure why Jackie. That's like the second time Jackie got caught, but we did trade bottom turret off of it, so it's not the worst thing. Uh, like, I could have Iron Slurried him, but to be honest, like, that wouldn't have done crap there. Like, he's still gonna die. So I'm gonna save the Iron Slurry for myself. I'm gonna take Red Buff here, because I need the levels. Alright, I need to go hold top lane to get the XP. Jax is actually... might instantly kill him. Uh, nope, not gonna happen. So Vayne's probably gonna stay up top and farm, because he knows everybody's fighting down there. I don't think that I can take Vayne 1v1, even though he doesn't have ultimate. Like, I might have ultimate some of it. Eh, I have red buff. I think he'll kite me out though. He does have Blade of the Rune King. I don't have ultimate, so I can't insect him. Nah, no, I can insect him. I'm just basically baiting him so that my team can get over here. Yeah, he, he's gonna die though, it's alright. Whatever, I'll take that trade. I shouldn't have went so hard on him there. Um, I went like right before my ultimate came up. I could have done a more effective ult into the tower, but it's fine. Zvain is just such a broken champion when it comes to dueling. I'm gonna get a Warden's Mail just for her. Alright, Dragon should be coming up soon. It comes up at 2456. Um, Jax is an incredibly good champion against Vayne, though. Uh, he can actually handle her very well, and he has the proper items to do it. He has Ninja Tabby, Play the Rune King, and Warden's Mail, so it's all good. Uh, I just need to... I think we're strong enough to beat them in a full-on fight now. I just need to play Protect for my carry, so... <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get Wolves, and then I think we can go start taking advantage of their jungle. As long as somebody doesn't get caught here. Okay, that's group. Jackie, no, Jackie has no oracles. Jackie need oracle. We have plenty of ward coverage. Graze is heading into mid with us. Uh, we're actually clumping very hard versus this Annie. Very dangerous. We should not be we should not be this close to the tower with Annie. Uh, 
Uh, Jax is actually heading bottom to cut off Annie. Uh, I want to go help them. I'm not sure what they plan on doing here. But I want to kick them here. All right, I managed to get my Iron Slurry off and pretty much all my moves. I hit a three-man ultimate, but Graves is going to show up to the fight late. Um, Jackie's tanking a lot of damage. Oh, they're all so low. They're so low. If Graves was there, that would have been like instantly us killing all of them. But I think I did the best I could there. I got, I managed to W one of our carries, and I also managed to uh, get the Iron Slurry off. So there's a lot of shielding, and I hit my E slow. Uh, level one E slow is only 20%, but as you put levels in it, it's it's just devastating how good the cripple is on that. I think they should get back here. Oh my god. All right, they actually managed to kill the Vayne somehow. Oh, uh, I think they can kill Pantheon. Maybe it's gonna be risky. Uh, Jackie is. I'm not sure what Jackie's doing here, but yeah. There's a big wave top, so we actually kind of went out on that. Uh, we got turrets and we got the vein. But we, uh, we need to. Um, if they're smart, actually no, they don't have vein out, but they might try to put Baron pressure. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get some levels. Uh, Dragon's up, and I would like to keep getting the gold on that. So. I'm gonna go clear out mid because Nami's pushing it. Let's get the dragon. Alright. And he's mid. Uh, he's actually trying to push in. Uh, Graves is going to go clear out bottom. Blue's up as well. We need to clear out mid first. This is very dangerous. I really hope Jackie doesn't try to fight them. Alright, if we have good war coverage, we can definitely get Dragon and, and no risk. Uh, we're getting Dragon right now. Like, or he's getting blue and we're getting free Dragon. Yeah, like, we're getting a lot of stuff out of this. Um, oh god, Graze is fighting bottom. He got condemned to the wall, so that's really bad. He missed his ultimate as well. Really bad play by Graves there. He actually walked into the wall randomly. I'm still gonna try to get this Dragon, though. We can get it. Oh god, guess not. We should just back out. Like, Jax is getting free top turret. They're all trying to commit on me. Uh, might be able, If he has ultimate, we might be able to do something here. Like, the whole goal for us should be to be... Oh god, Ori, you want to skin... I'm just trying to run out here. Yeah, Jax is taking everything off this. I'm just trying to like slow them. Jackie got caught here again. His positioning with Tarek is god awful. I live, Jackie. I'm least in. I can't be killed. Uh, you did, didn't look like you ran away there. <laughs> didn't look like you ran away there, Jackie. Uh, I, Jackie, I have wards. I can jump over the wall at any time I want. Yes, you should have ditched. All right, I'm taking. They're actually rushing Baron. I don't have much help, but I do have a smite up. This might does 820 damage. Uh, I don't... We could actually... I don't have ultimate, but... So he's gonna try to Oracle Clear. I'm just gonna try to steal it, I guess. Oh, he killed him. No, I smited it too early. I'm out. So I missed the smite on that. I smited it a little too early. No! I got him! I got, I got the Nami! I got the Nami. I smited a little too early on that, but... Uh, one of the, Actually, the biggest mistake there was not the smiting early, but dropping my Q early. Because if I hit my Q damage as long as my smite, I would have definitely killed them. Uh, Graves and Jax actually might be able to clean all this up, because they do have Ori Ball to speed them up, so we'll see. Yeah, they can clean this up very easily. Uh, Jax, can you do it? Oh, you eat too early. Oh, nice Oriol. All right, they're gonna be able to clean up everybody off this, so it's not bad. Uh, yeah, we're actually gonna be able to get that turret off of that, so that's actually not bad at all. I'm gonna finish my randoms and then I'm gonna start building damage. <clears throat> yeah, wouldn't be an episode of Jungleology if I didn't miss smite. Like, I do it for the fans. 
Oh damn. Oh god. Okay, Jax actually managed to get on the the vein. He should be focusing that Pantheon though, so that Graves can do damage. Oh, she's tumbled. Like, the, yeah, Graves can definitely. That was a huge positioning mistake by Vayne there because her ultimate's down, her stealth is down, and she basically walks straight into a double buff. Uh, almost three item, like full three item Graves. So uh, that was a huge mistake by Vayne there to get really greedy and uh, try and kill him. So I'm gonna get the dragon for my team. Um, Alright, so we didn't get top and hib. Oh, he's coming over here. Damn, this is going to take me forever to do. Uh, actually, no, he's just giving it up. Yeah, this is taking so long to do. Dear God. Alright, I am very close to Randoins. Randoins is incredible against uh, Fed AD carries like Vayne. Because uh, I can Q on top of them and then I can drop my E on them. And basically just like make their life a living hell by repeatedly slowing their attack speed and movement speed. I'm probably going to get engaged on bottom, so I'm going to back up. It's not worth it. Yeah, Vayne can definitely kill me very easily. He has PD and Blade of the Rune King, so he can catch up to me no matter what. Uh, I'm going to go get my Randoins though. And after the randoms, uh, since I really don't feel like I need any MR, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna get damage items. I'll probably get a Hydra and a uh, I'll probably get a ha Hydra and a Last Whisper. Like those will be my next two items. Uh, usually I'd have a Bulwark, but since my Terek got it, I don't really need the Bulwark. And I don't really feel like I need MR because Annie, if she's dropping her Tibbers combo on me, is playing improperly and she's not gonna be hitting the carry. So we've already won if she's dropping Tibbers on me. Oh God. Alright, finally get some points from me. Uh, Alright, we're pushing this up pretty good. We should go over the Expose and hip top. Uh, this is very dangerous to be going through this way. We do have ward coverage though. Yo, get the Expose and hit. What are you guys doing? Alright, we just basically need to walk in with Graves and put pressure. Not clump. I hope they don't clump on this. Alright, we got a free inhib. We can go mid off of this next one. We're clumping as we're going transitioning through here. This is a very bad play, but Annie's the main concern here. Oh, she can flash ulti us right now. It'd be devastating. Alright, so my main goal here is to protect my carry. I'm gonna kick Annie out so she can't drop her combo. Like, I died, but... And I could've ran to wins, but I was waiting for the Vayne to come up and commit. Uh, but she never really committed into me. Graves needs to be... Graves, protect. He can definitely kill her if he crits. He def okay, really good, really good. Like, Randwins versus the Pantheon doesn't really do too much, so I was kind of waiting for the Vayne to move up so I could Randwins him, but he really never came up, so not that big a deal. Alright, so that's a really good ultimate by Orianna. That set it up, like, really well. And, uh, if I actually managed to hit my Q beforehand in this area, I would have, like, five man hit him with an E and a Randwins. Uh, and that would have been, like, a really good follow up. But I managed to do my job, which was protect my graves. Uh, I kicked Annie away when she tried to ultimate him. And the whole thing is, with this build on Lee Sin, you just like, your entire goal is to make sure that your carries stay alive. Um, that's like, you got a W to them, you have to eat e tanks that are coming after you, and uh, kick people away, or kick them like, into... You can also do like, insect plays where you kick like, Annie off to the side or something like that, or the Vayne off to the side to where she can be focused down and killed. So this is more of a support Lee Sin build, which I think is actually the best way to play him. Uh, you can build him as a carry, where you go Hydra Last Whisper into like tank, but uh, I think it requires um, it requires a lot more snowballing. So, so now we can just go get bottom. Oh, Vayne's over there. What the heck? Why does this guy? He has a Cage's pick. I think he's gonna get the Ghost item. That's interesting. Let's go, let's go. We don't have Ori here yet, so... Uh... Yeah, we're gonna wait on Ori. Get this wave pushed up. Uh, I guess we're... Okay. This Andy doesn't really have much magic, man. She has Sork Boots and Hunting Guys. And I have 160 MR with 
with the Balric on, so I'm reasonably tanky against her. Damn, I'm so low level, I'm still not 16. Alright, so we need to wait on the creep waves to push in, which they are. Okay. Alright, okay, I'm gonna wait and kick this guy out when he comes in. Okay, he never actually came in, I guess. Alright, okay, he's getting slowed. I need to be careful here, I don't want to waste too much. Alright, I got him slowed, and he also can't... Alright, here we go. Uh, one great thing about Lee Sin versus Vayne is your E and your Q both give vision. Uh, and he slows down Vayne so she can't kite around very much. So that's why I flash E into her. To make sure that I... To guarantee I hit it and guarantee we get the kill. Alright, so that's pretty much like the end of the game. I didn't really make any clutch plays this game. Like, I made a few okay plays and we got some dragons. I could have played this game a little bit better. Um, but... I mean, that's the general way that you play uh, the tank Lee Sin, is you play, just play him as a support, you play him as a tank, and you play them to like help get your lanes into the carrying position. So, yep. And that's that's it for that. Uh, yep. So, this show is brought to you by Fool's Hill University. It's, a, uh, it's an online college as well as a college that's based out of uh, Florida, and they offer degrees specializing in... Uh, graphic design and game design, those kind of things. Uh, so if you're interested in getting in the gaming industry and just, or even like, just graphic design for anything, like, uh, just check out Full Sail University. Or if you just like the show and you want to see more of the show, uh, just check out my sponsor because they're the ones that make this happen. So thanks for watching, guys, and that's the end of the episode.